Hi, my name's Ram. Welcome back to my Morrowind playthrough. Last time we were still sort of on the road to Sadith Mora, but got distracted yet again by another little island just south of Molagmar that might have some good interiors on it. Although, yeah, it seems to be sort of broken up. Ah, this is that over there, isn't it? It's sort of a large island I want to get to. Dealing with you guys, because Christ, don't I always have to? Right, we're getting a little bit back into, you know, actual land and not just weird rocks. Some of those little beetles over here. Is there an interior? Ah, I was hoping this might be an interior. You're, yeah, you're not meshing with the floor very well. You are just sort of floating about. Do I... Good stuff from you guys. I can't remember specifically what it is, but I think those beetles have a kind of decent alchemy ingredient on them. Right, seeing something down here. Looks just like an egg mine. Don't think I've plundered one of you before. Well, not in certainly a long time. I could do with stocking up on some, on some nice eggs. Aratomus Senamu Egg Mine. A very long name. Ah, another one of these very dark caves. Last time I was in a cave this dark, it was completely unreadable when I checked it in, in editing. So, I don't know. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that. Yeah, it was complete black. I don't know why, because I'm, I'm seeing this pretty fine at the moment, but... Something about the process of recording, it makes it way darker for some reason. Ooh, there's... Yeah, they look like all of the different Kwama species just added together. It doesn't seem hostile to me yet, though. Are you the... the brood mother? The queen? Yeah, you've got the worm in the front, and then... I don't want to kill you, but on the other hand, I kind of do. I'm gonna summon a skeleton in case in case you're quite difficult to kill. Okay. Oh yeah, you have no health. That's fine. You're dead already. Have you got anything special in you? Uh, nope. Just the same as everything else in your kind. Take a couple more quammer eggs for the road, though. All right, back out to the surface. That was fairly simple in there. Just, you know, quammers, eggs. Kind of what you'd expect from a quammer mine, I guess. Fresh game. Ooh, was checking out another quammer mine. That was what was on the small island. There appears to be slaves in here. No, there is no need. We are already free. Speak with our leader. Ali Dole and join us in this slave rebellion. This sounds exactly what I like to do. Sorry for killing some of your quammer. Talk to our leader? I will. Okay, I'll stop killing everyone in here. Unless they attack me first. Because, yeah, I wouldn't want to mess up you former slave. You are still wearing slave braces, though. Which... Are you... Jade Darrow? No, no, you're, you're not the lead really, you just want me to talk to them. Fine, I won't steal anything from you. Fresh game. You, right. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Tell me about your slave rebellion. Yes, we are rebelling. If Therana sent you, go ahead and kill us. Um, No, she didn't. I, uh, She wouldn't talk to me either, so... I'm fully on your side about this. I'll, uh... Yeah, tell me your problems. Therana is mad. She demands more and more quammer eggs. And when the mine is empty, she still demands more. I delivered the eggs last time and found she was not even eating them. She was decorating her home with rotting quammer eggs. It was then I decided I could not go on. I think I saw them. That must have been what those weird rocks were on the floor of her house. Uh, I'll keep listening to you. I'm surprised you're willing to listen. Will you help us? I was a sorcerer in Black Marsh, but I cannot cast spells with these slave braces on. 
Will you find the key to our slave braces and free us? There may be a key here, but we have not yet found it. I'm sure there is a key in Telbranora. I will agree. You will free us? I'm not sure I believe you. Very well. Try and find a key to my slave braces in Telbranora or here in the egg mine. Once I am free, I will let the others go free and leave them to safety. Thank you. I Because you're saying there might be one in here, I'm assuming it might be behind a locked door or something. Which will be fine because I've got very good unlock skill. So we'll just have a look for here. You have questions. Right, probably shouldn't kill their queen just because how else are they going to live? Although your key is just up here. It's just in a in an unlocked box next to your queen, which you must have seen. Okay, um I, I guess you didn't look at the only, the, the one box in your mine to find your key. I'll, uh, I'll go free you then, I guess. Here we are. Uh, yes, go free. Have you found the key? I have. I am free now. I will free the others and lead them back to Black Marsh. My journal has been updated, thank you. Is that just telling you you're happy? Yes. Nice, I'm glad you guys are free although I don't it was just upstairs so oh I think I think this might be a different Daedric shrine although it is it is close to uh, the one I found a couple of parts ago which is yeah I think this one might be Shea Gorath as well then if not it's probably pretty disrespectful to put shrines to two different princes right next to each other I already see there's a Frost Atronach up there. I don't have a lot of trouble with you guys, so I'll just be able to mow through you quite quickly. Right, there's a human man here. Are you gonna... Someone should teach you some manners. Okay, are you gonna tell me anything, or are you just gonna pretend like you aren't just standing here next to a Daedric Ruin for some reason? You're just gonna give me no information on this. Oh, Christ. I am trying to heal and have a rest. There we are. At least I'm getting a lot of Daedra hearts, which sell for quite a lot. Not that I need it with my 40,000-ish gold, though. Right, this base is called Zane Tereus. Which... Are you a Nord? Yeah. That's, yeah, that does look like the same guy we saw before, so... Presumably Shea and Gorath again. Oh Christ, I... That was a very quick axe kill, that's fair. Should be taking you guys more seriously then. There we go, quick skeleton. I'll start using my actual enchanted swords. Uh, might go fire for Nords. You guys are weak to fire, aren't you? If I could reach you, I'm a little bit over-encumbered. Ooh, that's a pretty good spell. Okay. Alright, Christ. Managed to kill this guy with just my sword. It did take away all of my magic enchantment and all of my health, so I'm going to need to sleep that off. Nice expensive amulet, glass blade. Going to have a snooze outside first, though. There we go. Got to be careful in here. That orc was pretty dangerous last time. Is that... Yes, that's there you are. Right, get him, skeleton. Oh, he killed my skelly, quickly. I really hope there's no one who's going to try and attack me from behind while I'm killing you. There we go. Is that orcish stuff? Okay, could have guessed that. I'm going to have a quick skirt around the corners. There's usually, yeah, quite a lot of you in here, so... Skeleton, lovely. You are, you're a wood elf, are you? There we are, stop. Over-encumbered. Why do all of these people have over-encumbered? It's just a nuisance, because they then run away from me. 
Right, after a couple more guys, I think everyone else in here is dead. This is... I think... I think this is the same guy as before? Can't... Oh, I'm not sure if he had a walking stick before. Can't tell, this might be Sanguine then. Night Eye, that's nice. Ebony, no thank you, and... Do you have any, any treasure? Little treasure chest round here? Ah, I've got to be careful with these. Last time I opened a treasure chest in a Daedric Ruin, there was a... A little, a little Dramora Lord that came out and killed me, so... I'm gonna be careful. Also, one of these is a Lock 55, which... is usually higher... than you typically see, so... I'm excited about that. There we are. Both are open. Stay on your guard for anything spawning. That's just 200 gold. The bigger chest. That looks like some enchanted stuff. Woe charm. Damage willpower. Take that. And fortify skill axe while using. Very heavy. Not worth a lot. I uh, might as well just take some potions. Ooh, my my carry capacity is getting full again. Gonna have to gonna have to head back to a town soon. I think I think I should only have a couple more. Did anyone spawn behind me? Don't think so. I think I should only have a couple more uh, locations to discover between sort of here and Molagmar. So that's good. Oh, there is... Is this an Ashlander camp? I can't tell if they're friendly yet. They're not attacking me yet, though. I think I might be slightly too far away for them to... to an alert to me. I'm just going to inch closer a bit. They don't seem to be fighting the cliff racer, which worries me. And... You look friendly? Yeah, you would have turned hostile by now. What are you guys doing out here? Say what you want or go away. I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, your background? I'm Canit Niladron Barbarian. Right. Yeah, they won't tell me either. What's with people just standing places and then refusing to tell me about the things they're standing outside? You're Yannet. Hold on. Whose house is this? Abidales. The, uh... The etiquette guy told me Get coming in someone's yurt unannounced is like a challenge. But which one of you owns this house? Make it quick, there we are. You've got a very fancy hat as well. You offer training, athletics, long blade block, not anything I use. At least I, I get to ask you about stuff. Uh, rumours? Nope. You're always about the slaves. Nobody wants to tell me anything. Okay, those can both train me, but they don't want to actually tell me about the the little tomb they're standing right next to for some reason. Nor do they want to actually attack cliff raiders. I'm going in your tomb anyway. Red ass ancestral tomb. Fine, we'll have a look in here. Ooh. Nice frosty. You're not usually in tombs. Okay, stop trying to hit the frost out for an act with a, a frost sword. That's a bad idea. Oh, you're. Oh, that has a fair amount of damage over time. Really should keep a better eye on my health. Where is me mother's ring? And also, should probably get rid of some of my enchanted items because it takes quite a while to scroll down and find the thing I actually use. Ow, ow, stop. Wish this dude would give me some space. No, I didn't... Mm. Okay, came back here and the Frost Atronax gone. It's now a Dramora, so this is somewhat randomised. I'm sure a Dramora is, like, way harder than a Frost Atronax. So, it seems a bit unfair that they'd be in the same pool. Also, my skeleton didn't at all help. Another one? There we go. Well, you do. You haven't even got a weapon. You're just punching him. Come on now. Oh, stupid thing. 
There we go. You're dust. Yeah, the fact that there's higher level stuff in here indicates there's maybe something interesting. Although I thought that before and it isn't true sometimes. So I am I'm not setting my expectations too high. Oh, there is scrolls though. Ooh, I do love scrolls. Summon Golden Saint scroll as well, which is one of the ones I really like. And alchemy. Okay, don't get your don't get your hopes up too much. What is that? Oh Christ. Yeah, bad time to go over encumbered. Stop picking up all the stupid nonsense I pick up. Throw your quammer wags away. 14 carry capacity in those quammer wags. Now I'm getting killed by one of these, and you know what? It's gonna be my own fault. Rule one of games, check if there's something about to attack you. Oh god. You know what, fair, that one was my bad. Actually, thinking about it, I probably need to update my mother's ring. I've had it for ages and there's got to be a stronger health enchantment I can get. It's uh, it's just not doing the trick anymore. I swear it used to... No. Ah. Yeah, it used to restore like a third of my health with every use and now it's it's not really holding its own anymore. Oh Christ, finally managed to kill him. I swear these are... He's a stronger Atronach than I've seen before. Yeah, I'm... You know what, forget keeping your expectations low. There better be something, like, real good in here. Right, first little death tomb in here. That's just another Dramora. I'll get my skeleton out again. Oh, it's two of you. I didn't know they had you as pets. Right, if I could just... There we are. There we go. That guy had an ebony mace, which is, excuse me, skelly, which is very fancy. I, ooh, I didn't see you little urns around here. Getting, getting a lot of alchemy equipment. Yep, over encumbered. All right. There we are. Crisis averted. Got a little bit of carry capacity left. Not much anything. Ooh, that looks enchanted. Red ass robe of deeds, feather 50. Oh my god, that's a constant effect. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad I came in here. That's. Even if there's nothing else in here, that is worth it. I'm putting that on immediately. I ho I'm hoping it looks nice. Oh, it is. It's dark blue. It's the colour I wanted and everything. So I got to detect animals and a constant feather spell. That is, I'm going to say it's straight up probably the best item I've found in this entire game. Maybe bar the mother ring, but like you could make your own mother ring, so it's definitely this one's number one. Look at that carry capacity. I can kind of get like 60 pounds more of a, uh, whatchamacallit. This has got to have good, st I'm going to, oh, underwater I wasn't expecting that. I did see a lot of uh, shrines around here saying Tribunal, which I know is what the name of one of the DLCs is. So I don't know if maybe this is related to one of the DLCs, but yeah. This is definitely a, a weird fancy play. Shrine of the Tribunal. Uh, sure, I'll have your blessing. Um, Lady's Grace, why not? That sounds nice. What is it? Fortify Endurance. That's it. Oh well. Uh, ooh, enemies are nearby. Is it just is it just fish? Oh, thank God I have my underwater spell. Is there? A, yeah, you can kind of peek up for air. Ooh. Very mysterious. Unless you, unless this is like a tomb for a mermaid or something. Ah, another Frosty Oak. Ooh, Frosty and Daedra. Not a combo I've seen before. Skelly, there we are. And please get him. Oh, okay. Doing badly already. Just... Is my Skelly dead already? Luckily, I don't think they are... They are willing to follow me into the water. Okay. 
That's. I don't think we've caught the attention of the Frost Atronach yet, though, so... I'm pretty happy fighting you underwater, to be honest. Well, not, like, immensely happy, but it's, it's, it's kind of in my wheelhouse, so... And also, I can breathe underwater, and I, I know you can't, so... Well, probably. I think maybe Daedra don't have lungs, because they're, you know, hell demons or something. There we are. This guy dead. Dramora Lord. Put your robe back on. Oh, it's a nightmare playing the controller. Daedra Heart and a Dreg Staff. Fine. Ooh, you should die in a sec. Ooh. Luckily a lot of his attacks are focused on Skelly. Right, these guys are a lot harder than the Frost Atronax I've seen before. Now, this is the top area. I'm expecting some good stuff. Although, to be honest, it could have literally nothing I'm, and I'd still be super happy with this. It's nice. Ooh, a nice little red-ass war axe. That's... I can't really tell how good that is because I don't really use axes. So, should I take that? I think I have enough carry capacity to. I might have. There are sets. I'll uh, I'll put it in my uh my my fancy items area back in the uh, Major's College in Balmora. Ooh, just wandering around the coast. Found this hello ancestral tomb. It doesn't say a specific family. It just says Hello, so hopefully this is like a big fancy one for the entire uh, council place. It's nice, I'll just see if there's anything good in here. I'm sure nothing's going to beat my fancy new cloak though. Okay, slight problems. I summoned a skelly and now I can't remember which one's my skelly. And which one's the enemy. So I'm just going to let those... Are you mine? No, okay. These these wild skellies are more powerful than mine. Which is a bit of a shame. Ah yeah, they're champions. I still need to... I couldn't find anywhere that would give me better conjuration spells. I'm pretty sure I even checked the uh, the main mages college in uh, in the, uh, the centre in Vivek and I didn't find anything. Ooh, we're in an area that's going down deep again in this tomb. There was... Ah, just a little pit full of skulls. Also, fun fact, I'm pretty sure I, I soul trapped one of these skeletons. They're apparently champion... They're apparently grand souls. Which is a lot higher than I expected them to be. There we are. I still know I need to... Yeah, I think it needs to be a human soul in order to get the... Uh get the constant effect enchantment. I still haven't en enchanted anything yet. I'm definitely going to do that when I uh, next get back to... Nope, that's the wrong weapon. When I next get back to town. Okay, was expecting a little bit something more fancy. If this is indeed the ancestral tomb for uh, one of the great houses. But no matter, I'm still happy about my robe. Is this? That looks a little bit vaguely daydreamy over here. That's nice. Just checking. Oh, I'm really getting into completionist mode. A little frustrating, but I gotta check out the bottom of this island. There's. Uh, I'm glad the map tells you which bits you've explored and which bits you haven't. Which is nice, but also I feel compelled to just scout out every possible bit because I don't want to have to miss a tomb or something. Is this... Ooh, this is something I was going to miss. Is this just an egg mine? Mabba il you. There we are, I could have missed this. Could have missed this nice uh, angry mage lady. There we are, quick skelly. I like the, uh, the big crystals they've got in their little homes. There we are, you don't seem like much trouble. This just another sorcerer's helm? Did have an enchanted weapon though, not good for me, but hopefully it means that uh, your followers will also have them. Ooh, this is... 
that up there. I is that just ebony? That looks sort of green though. Okay. A scamp down here. Who cares? You're a tiny little thing. There's yeah. What's around this area? Is that a dead mud crab? Just some lichen. No need. I haven't seen bungalows bane in ages. I think they grow up near uh, Sadenine right at the start of the game. So uh, nice to pick up some some good alchemy ingredients I haven't seen in a while. Check. Ooh, diamonds. This is some um, out kind of stuck in the water though. Oh, I'll take your four diamonds. I think I'm genuinely stuck. Okay. This game really likes to just stick you in water bits. And then... Oh, I don't have time for you. I'm trying to collect some... Probably emeralds. Raw glass. Is that worth anything? Yeah, you know what? I'm swimming for carry capacity for my new robe. So I'll just take everything. Except ebony, because that's ridiculously heavy. Is there anything else on the ceiling? Uh, I don't think so. I'll kill this lady. There we are. No one's matched for me. This lady's just called Fair, which is nice. Exquisite amulet, which is very pretty. My, is there anyone else in here, or this was just your house that you were in? Ah, I think so. Lock level. Just some locks I gotta bust open in here. Oh my Christ, look at all these potions! She's got millions of them. This is only in like a 15 locked. I suppose she must be that famed alchemist I've been looking for. Take all of them? Yeah. Yeah, I'm over encumbered. I saw that coming. Ooh. I'm still looking at the map, looking at that like tiny little scrap of islands up there that I haven't seen yet. Is it... is it worth just spamming feather? I uh, we'll see what else is in here. That's a lock twenty-five. Fay Falcon three conjuration. Thank you. Can't take that with me. Not that I especially need money anyway. Right, we're going fast. I have my fortify strength potion, but it's not very good. So we're just taking everything. Summon flame Atronach. Yeah, you were definitely some sort of powerful. Witch? Witch, I guess? Alchemist? Gotta do this quickly. This is a trap door, but we're not untrapping it. Can't afford to. That's just fire. Doesn't have much issue. Bowl. Some books. Burden. I'll take that. I don't know what the point is of poisons in this game. I'm pretty sure you can't actually inflict poisons on other people, so... Don't really know what the point is. This is... is that every chest she owns or is there... no no there's one round here. Just open it up immediately, that's just more expensive stuff and a little bit of gold. Right, lovely, that's everything in here, we're legging it back to the surface. Right, we're just very quickly going to see if there's anything else at the bottom of this island. And if no, then I'm going to Alm Civi Intervention away. I just, I just can't leave this little scrap of land unattended. Alright, this area, yeah, this area looks like it's hasn't got any outfits, so I'm going to do my little mark and then the other one. Okay, don't have enough to mark. Thank god I've got my little amulet. Right. And how are you? Oh. Can I help you? Oh, shush, Galbadir. Back in Balmora, I have done... Some, some selling, some buying, and I'm prepared to get some good enchantments. Don't think I've ever done technical enchanting. Actually, what do you train? I do need nothing good. I think I might get a bit of mysticism training as well. But right now, I've got both my sword and my healing item that I want to get improved. This nice exquisite amulet I found. What have we got? Uh, yeah, the soul of Dagoth Vaymin. That's good for me, and... Fortify health? Uh, no, no, I need to restore health. 
is, are you going to force me to buy a restore health potion? Yes, you are. Okay, I'll be right back. Right, we're back. We got restore health down there from uh, the orc lady. Restore health. Okay, again, should have checked what my you? current one does and also what my actual health is. Right, Mother's Ring does 10 to 20 points for one sec on self. And I have 77. That's very low. I'm sure I add more health than that. Right, I'm thinking 50 points for one sec on self. And we'll na name it Vemlins. Gonna have to remember how to spell Vem. Vemlins. No, no Y. We'll name it after him, that's nice. Vemlins Exquisite Amulet. Vemlins Healing Amulet. There we are, that looks good. Oh no. Oh, Vemin's gonna be right at the bottom of my uh, my load order, isn't it? And I really need to be it to be right at the top. Okay, I'm putting two capital A's at the start of Vemlins, which kind of ruins my naming laws, but it'll keep it at the top of my magic list, so that's good enough. There we go, let's have a look at it. Ah, numbers. I forgot numbers were at the top of it. AA Vemulin's healing amulet. So, pull this out. Don't know why I bothered using it, but it costs 8 and it's got a ton of charge in it. That's nice. That'll keep me prepped for a while. What I also wanted to do was create a sword. I think, again, check the sword I've got. I was thinking maybe poison? I'm an Argonian, so... I think having a really powerful poison sword would be good. I have this, yeah, ebony short sword I got a while back. More powerful than any of my other swords at the moment. And my current damage I can do is 1 point to 25 points for one sec on target. So gonna try and change that, gonna make me a big powerful weapon. Alright, I think I've got the numbers right. This is going to be our big powerful kill sword. 30 to 50 points of poison on target for one second. Costs about 25,000 gold and probably won't be able to get that many swings out of it, but yeah, this sounds good. And what should I call it? I think I'm going to call it Serpent's Tongue. Ooh, you can't add more enchantment to an object than it can hold. Damn it, that's depressing. Right, how weak do I have to make this enchantment so it can actually hold it? Ah, I see it up there. Curses. You really don't like having a high sword enchantment, do you? Oh, 25 is the highest you can get with a poison. Okay, that's extremely depressing. It's 1 to 24 is actually all I can afford on this on this sword. So pain, I'm wondering if that's just a set number for the item you have or potentially that's because of my enchantment skills not great. Either way, it's it's an ebony sword so it's still better than the one I have currently so I'll still buy it. And I'll have to sell that ebony sword to you as well. Do you take bartered items? Oh Christ, yeah, this guy has 20,000 gold because of all the stuff I sold him. Should have remembered that because I don't know if I can actually sell you stuff back. Ring of Surroundings. Right, that's about 10,000 gold I can give back. Alright, done some selling. We've chucked some of the cool swords we found back down here. I've got my new healing enchantment. I'm also jumping very far. I don't know when I started to jump that well. Yeah, I've certainly got way more height than I used to. Anyway, back off to the islands. Here we are, and yeah, should be a big island just over this side that I can go to. Uh, I think I also did a little bit of mysticism training and a little bit of enchant training. Ow, not much though. I'm not fighting a slaughterfish, that's fine. Right, I feel like a lot of the islands around here are slightly too small. 
to have any settlements on them, but I'll just check just in case. I can't stand not finding stuff in video games. It makes me proper itch. Well, I think there could have been something really cool somewhere. That's the problem with open world games. There's always, like, very powerful equipment that they never direct you to. Like that red-ass robe that I just got. Who knows if that would have ever been, like, a quest location. Right, these little islands seem just scenery. There isn't even any enemies spawning out here, so... Yeah, I think I might ditch this island and go for the actual big one in the centre. Ooh, that looks like either a weirdly shaped mountain. Oh no, that's something cool. That's... is that the uh, the Lady Azura, as usual? Sort of looks a bit like her. That, that does look like a Daedric Shrine door. Okay, I think that's Azura. I'm just going to peek over here and... Ooh, I'll have to remember to come back around this side. This seems... Yeah, Azura, her Skyrim statue is kind of like this as well. Shrine of Azura. There we go. Lovely. And, oh, it's incredibly dark in here. Have you, have you got your little Azura star yet? Will it let me trap human souls? I don't know if that was just a Skyrim edition or if you have it in this game as well. Doesn't appear to be anyone here, Azura. No one's, no one's worshipping you. How odd. You're one of the few, uh, good ones. Aren't you one of the three Daedric princes that's actually worshipped in Morrowind anyway? So why would they need to keep your shrine secret? Nice, okay. Uh, don't know where Dagonfell is. Have I got anything else on my map? The island near Dagonfell. What is it with people just giving me quests and then not remotely telling me where they are? Uh, no, it's an island though. That's, I mean, that's something. I am quite eager to help you because I do like soul trapping and enchantment and stuff, so... Right. We'll keep that in mind. I... There's not many islands off the coast. Not islands big enough to keep someone in anyway. Ooh. I... I thought you were a silt strider. I've tried to sit in your head and it tells me you're a bull match. Let me, let me have a look at you proper. Are you sure this isn't a silt strider? This looks very silt stridery. Huh. Weird, that's ruined me day. I always thought you were just wild silt striders hanging about. Right, not a huge amount on this island other than that Azura shrine. Have found what I assume is a little egg mine again. It's got you guys hanging outside the door. Just have a quick check in, see if there's anything of note in here. Right, just the occasional worm so far. This place has actually got living quammer workers in it. But unusually it's also got a little underground section, which I haven't seen before in egg mines. Who's attacking me? Ah, fish probably, that would make sense. Yep. Right, doesn't it appear to be anything in this water room? Just an incredibly dark room. I have the brightness turned up. Probably as high as it can go, because I can't stand dark games, and even I can't see in there, so... 
egg miner. Yeah, these Speed guys are power. just generic egg guys. This a uh, soldier. Oh, it's a worker. It probably wasn't going to attack me. Sorry. Yet another little watery bit. Maybe just the entire place down here is watery. Is there anything good lower? Right, don't think so. Think just a weird pit to keep stuff in. I can... yep, can hear the queen up there. There's a surprising amount of stuff in this game that you can't actually get to unless you have a uh, levitate amulet. Go up here, that's a soldier protecting the queen. I I have no issues with the queen. You don't you don't give me particularly good loot, so I'm just gonna steal some of your eggs back here. Here we are, back in good old civilization. Just checking up the side here. I don't want them to hide any Ooh. Ancestral tomb? Yeah, this looks like what this is. Very weak skelly you have guarding your door, though. Ooh, I like a stone flower. Thinking of it, I haven't seen those uh, those big zombie things. Can't remember what they're called. Greater Bone Walkers. In quite a while, so I'm hoping now that I've said that, that'll have jinxed me and they'll be in here. Hilaire, Ancestral Tomb. Right. Your henchman wasn't that impressive, so... Don't have high hopes for you guys. Ooh, we had a nice little greater soul gem in a thing here. And, ooh, a corpse. Scroll written in blood. These will be the last words anyone ever hears from me. Here? That's silly of me. As if anyone will hear what I'm writing. Regardless, I am a lone traveller, and never stayed put long enough to know anyone. Except that lovely Maria in Stroh's Mackay. She will forever be in my heart, even in death. To see her again... Or to even hear her beautiful voice would surely allow me to die a content man. I now lie here with a broken back, unable to move, surely to be dead within hours. I take this remaining time to write a farewell to this cruel world, the very same one that allows me to take the path of a thief, a good one at least. If you ever hear tales of Malaki the Lightfooted, you can continue the tale of how you happened upon my corpse in a lowly tomb. Searching for bounty so I may feed myself. What a life I led. If you too are a common thief like myself, do yourself a favour and find another way. If I had it to do all over again, I would surely change my ways. The clawing and moans of the ghastly undead beasts grows louder now. I fear they have come to finish me off for good this time. Know that I shall die a painful death as an unhappy man. May the gods show pity on my soul, so I do not have to wander this plane after death. Oh, that's really sad. I really hope we find this Maria and tell her what he happened to you. Poor corpse, do you have anything in you? Just bones. Although, yeah, I'm not a common thief. I'm a, I'm a very good thief, so I won't heed your warnings. But I will find it sad that you died here all the same. And also, why did I pick up some pants? Right, I'm about half health. Might be time to test out my AA Vemulans healing amulet. Oh, look at that. Back to full health. That's good stuff. And nice little soul gems from you two. Anything... Yeah, the thief didn't say there was anything specifically good in here, and I'm I'm assuming he would know. Yep, not not really much of good here. Other than that message from that poor thief. I uh, have I've taken his letter with me, and I'm hoping that the uh, the town where he met Maria is actually a location in Morrowind. So I can go see her. I would, uh, yeah, I'd like that. I, uh, I'm going to end this part here, because I've done a lot of exploring today. Going to continue exploring this island, and still head up north. I'm still ages away from uh, good old Sadith Mora. Takes a while to get there. I'm kind of slow. 
but yes, thank you for watching.